In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the tab plugin. Now, once you have installed the plugin and reboot your server, the plugin should be installed. You can check that by doing slash PL, deluxe menus, essentials, placeholders, API, tab, and vault. Those are the plugins I have installed and they're green. So that would mean they're working correctly. So if I hold tab, that shows the custom tab when a player holds tab we can change the, con the what it looks like in the configuration so let's take a look at that go to uh, your plugins folder then go to tab and then go to config this is uh, where it will show up this is what it looks like so uh, this uh, fffm thing so if i go to minecraft hold tab that is the bar at the top and there's one at the bottom too so uh, let me open that up again one at the top right here that's this code and as you can see it this is the start and then this is the code and then there's a bunch of space and then the code there that's just showing how big the bar is if i delete some of this space in here that'll make the bar smaller if i don't want the bar there i could just delete this entirely or i could just have a space up here like let's say i don't want a bar and just do that and I can ha just have an extra line up here for space or I could just delete this and the server name will be at the top. Do file save. So what I did is I deleted the barcode on top and then uh, tab reload successfully reloaded. I can hold tab and as you can see the bar is gone. This uh, and three symbol is the turquoise blue color and this and l symbol makes it bold so if i don't want it bold i can get rid of that this the animation you saw here the welcome and then it goes back that is just a animation code that's in a different uh folder so we'll, we'll look at that later add player this will be replaced with the player's name so as you can see it says linksel welcome linksel or i could just delete all this and make my own thing like I can d just delete the whole welcome message if I wanted to now I just have online players and online staff now it just says a uh, players online and sta uh, staff then there's that space between there and the player list there's a header is what is above the players when it starts listing players then in the middle where it doesn't show anything it will list the players and then the footers what's at the bottom so the time the ping memory if i want that and i can put in a web page animation and let's open up the animations let's look in here text animation server name animation so let's find the welcome animation change interval that's the amount of time before it changes so i'll do that it wants it to do uh, 800 for this amount of time for it so I'll, you can show it twice and uh, add e as a as an L as a C and as you can see then it stays at welcome for a bit when you saw that pause and then starts deleting going back and that's what it will show and then once it gets down there it will start back up here and start over again so uh, for the web page like W domain blah 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 and it has a different color that goes through it so it stays at this for a long time and then as you can see at six color code goes in for the first w and then they set it to the normal color code at e and then put in the rest of it and six is going over over now it's here now by the time it gets to here it's there then it goes through and then there you go now it's gone so we could take a look at that we're looking at the W seat. It goes through and it's gone. So you see it says web. So if we uh, go out of that and then go to tab and go to the config and then go to the footer, we'll visit our web page and this is the animation. That is the animation that gets where the animation gets used. And yeah, just remember to save your file if you do anything and then tab reload and it should work that's it for this video if you have any questions please comment them down below and i'll get to you when i can and boo